everyone. We are in the second half of chapter 2 of the Gospel of John. We're starting at verse 13 and taking it all the way to the end of the chapter. Now, there are a lot of moving parts in these 12 verses, and I really want to draw your attention to, to the last half of, of today's reading where Jesus is absolutely transparent about who and what he is and what he intends to do, even though those listening don't quite get it. That said, I want to focus on the first part of today's reading, beginning at verse 13. This is what we read. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple area, he saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifices. He also saw dealers at tables exchanging foreign money. So let me give a quick explanation as to what's going on. The Passover festival was a big deal. It was the annual celebration of the Passover event that we uh, read just a few weeks ago in the book of Exodus. Every able-bodied Jewish man was required to come to the temple for the Passover festival. It was, it was required, it was a ritual that was expected. And along with that, it was the opportunity for for the annual sacrifices to happen. You see, if you remember back from the Old Testament in Exodus and a couple of other books right around it, God gave the sacrificial system, this, this set of rules about when you committed sin, how you could use animal sacrifices to release your sins to God. I'm not gonna try to explain the sacrificial system too much because I'm not sure that I fully understand it. It's foreign to us in our era, but, but for, for the people, especially when God gave these uh, parameters to the, to the Israelites, it was intended to be a gift, an opportunity for, for people to, who had recognized that they had sinned, done something wrong, harmed another, or harmed their relationship with God. It now gave them kind of a ceremonial way of knowing that they were square with God again. It was intended to be about healing individuals. But now, as we find ourselves in the first century temple, it had turned into something else. Instead of healing individuals and letting them know that they were in relationship with God, it had turned into a money-making opportunity for the, the Jewish leaders and the temple. And so, if you're a Jew traveling in from, um, from another part of the region, and you, depending upon the nature of your offenses over the last year, realize that, holy moly, I'm going to have to show up with like eight cows and four sheep and 28 doves. Why don't I just bring some money and buy them when I get there? Which is exactly what people were doing. And the Jewish authorities knew that. And so they could exploit people because of their guilt and make them pay premium for these animal sacrifices. Additionally, Every year, men, Jewish men, were supposed to pay a temple tax. And that temple tax was the equivalent of two days labor. That's what the money changers are for. So these folks are coming in from, from all over the region and they'll have different forms of currency. And so they have to go to the money changers to get it into the right currency to be accepted by the temple. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever gone to a bank to exchange U.S. dollars for some other form of currency, guess what? There's a service charge. So you see, the temple had taken the Passover festival and turned it into a tremendous exploitation, money-making opportunity. And now, the matter gets just a little bit worse. Because where they're doing it is inside the temple just inside the temple, in the, the portion of the temple that was open for Gentiles to come and worship. You might recall from, from the book of Genesis, Abraham and the covenant that God made with him was that, was that he was to be a blessing. He and his, his offspring were to be a blessing to all nations. God was all about inviting everybody together to be a part of who he was and is. And, and now, the Jews, so focused on this idea of making money off of the innocent, have even forgotten their mission to share God's love with the Gentiles, and so they've driven them out of the temple for the sake of this festival. Jesus is not happy when he sees this. 
and then you can read from there. It says that Jesus collected up ropes to make a whip to drive the animals and the people out. He turned over the tables. You get the sense that he was pretty upset. Um, that said, I'm not sure that it's fair to say that his eyes rolled in the back of his head and he went into a blind rage. He did, however, show passion. And that's what this is all about. Jesus came to save each and every one of us. God's mission all along has been about the redemption of all of humanity. And here, the temple, which was supposed to represent a beacon of hope to the world, had been turned into something that exploited others, drove Jesus nuts. And, and he made that very clear. But he himself becomes the focal point. He himself will become the temple of the Lord and he will continue to be the light that shines in the darkness. And that is the very light that we focus on today and that we seek to share with others. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.